Hi everyone, welcome back. I received a, an email the other day from someone who said that her friend told her that all fears that we have come from past lives that we have lived. And she wanted to know if I thought that was true. And no, I don't do not think that's true. I think fears uh, come to us. You know, I explained before, if you watch a scary movie that embeds a fear in the left brain, the imagination, you know, it stores it. And we think about that and we're afraid of our own shadows. So a lot of the fears we have in life uh, come from outside, un outside sources like movies. Uh, you know, I also, I, I've often said that Hollywood has done a grave injustice to the world of spirit, uh, by the way they depict them because it's nothing like you see in the movies, but certainly those movies can instill fears in us. You know, I, myself, I have a fear of flying. I have fear of spiders. Those are two very strong fears that I have. Do I think I died in a plane crash in a past life or I was bitten by a poisonous spider and that's why I fear them. No, it's just a fear that I have. You know, sometimes fears come from, um, from childhood memories, you know, and maybe, uh, unpleasant childhood memories or, you know, something, something that happened that caused that fear to, um, to, to connect to us. Okay. So I do not believe that, um, all fears that we have come from past lives that we lived. I, I don't believe that. I think, um, you know, we have to be more careful with what we, we feed our brains. We have to be more careful, make better choices on the movies that we watch, um, the groups that we join. Uh, you know, I, I explained to you also before, there's no such thing as, as a, uh, a curse. That's, that's where the billion dollars come in uh, with the charlatans out there in the uh, metaphysical world are, are curses, you know. And with curses, when somebody tells you you have a curse, that instantly puts a fear in you. And they like that fear to go in you because now they're going to be able to get money from you and more money from you by telling you that, you know, the curse is still with you. And each psychic you go to, the price goes up higher and higher. So um, it's just, it's just uh, fears are just things that, that we get. You know, you're supposed to fight the fear. I have fought the fear with, um, with planes. I have, um, you know, flown many times in a plane, but I don't like it. You know, if, if it's up to me, I'll never fly again. I just, I don't like it. I'm not comfortable. I'm a little bit claustrophobic. So that, that part bothers me as well. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a fear that I have. Uh, spiders, I don't think I'll ever get over the fear of spiders. No matter what I do, I fear spiders, no matter how little they are, you know, to me, they're this big. And, uh, I know it's silly, but it's a fear that I have. Where it came from, who knows? It's just a fear. So, but again, you're supposed to fight your fear. So whether or not I'm going to fight my fear of spiders, I doubt it. My daughter-in-law, Monica, is an aromatherapist and she makes me, um, she makes me peppermint oil. And let me tell you, I spray that peppermint oil every time I go to my center every day. I spray it around my chair because I am afraid of spiders and peppermint, you know, uh, they don't like peppermint, so they won't go anywhere. So I, I create a barrier of peppermint, you know, and some may think that's very silly, but it's just me. It's a fear that I have. So fight your fear if you can, but um, certainly I do not believe it's from a past life. So I hope that answers your question. And as always, I leave you in God's love and light.